Hello, hello, Aries, and welcome to Heart of Inspiration to your December. I'm calling these Ascension Energy readings. Uh, so if this is your first time here, welcome to Heart of Inspiration. Thank you so much for coming. Um, please consider liking and subscribing, hitting that subscribe button or that subscribe link that's down below. If you're a frequent flyer, welcome back. I so appreciate you being here. And I hope and pray that on this channel you do find um, some guidance on leading a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful, prosperous, and ascended life. So we're going to get right into the reading. Um, in the recent past, so this is all going to be things that are going to be helping you move through this energy in December. So in the recent past, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords represents um, one living in their truth, one speaking their truth, one knowing their truth, and they have no problem proclaiming it. The Swords energy is all about communication. It's about information also back and forth, potentially information gathering. Um, it is all about how one presents oneself as well. So this energy, um, with this King of Swords energy, this is, I have finally discovered who I am and I am very proud of who I am and I'm not going to let anybody deter me. I have been getting downloads from the great I am. I've been getting downloads from creator and I'm not going to let anybody deter me from my purpose. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Then as we're moving through the month, we also have the queen of wands with the queen of wands energy. I really enjoy this card here as well. You see, she is there with her wolf. If you're a game of Thrones fan, it's almost the size of a dire wolf. Um, she is very, the Queen of Wands is very confident in who she is. Um, she's a, she is uh, understanding of her inner and outer beauty. And she's carrying this light with her. And also very charismatic. People want to follow her. People want to be in her presence. She's very attractive and she knows it. And she's carrying herself like I, again, this plays off of the King of Swords energy. I know who I am and now I'm going to let my light shine, but let it shine in a way that's also a bit maternal in a sense, uh, the divine feminine. This to me is, um, other than the Empress, the essence of the divine feminine um, with the Queen of Wands. So really, as you're in this month and flowing, you're going to find yourself um, not only sure of who you are, but very willing to just put it on display. That's a wonderful thing for an Aries, right? And this is fire energy. This is all about you. Motion, movement, um, knowing the direction you want to go, wanting to like walk your truth and being confident in walking your truth. The King of Wands then as well, um, as we're coming then into the third, into the fourth week of this month, the King of Wands, you have both royalty, you have all royalty here for what kind of downloads, what information, how you're presenting yourself, how you're presenting your information, your life purpose, and as you're going on your ascension journey, you are confident beyond confident of your direction. And the King of Wands says, okay, Queen, we see, you know, the Queen, women are very, plan we, we plan, right? Um, we plan, we contemplate, we determine, um, okay, is this going to be healthy? You know, we don't necessarily move quite as fast and some, and we, and we tend to get counsel from our intuition, from listening. A king takes wise counsel from all around him and says, this is the direction. This is the decision. This is the path that we are going on. And so I feel that by the end of this month, coming into 2019, your path is going to be illuminated and you're going to know that you know that you know. And not only that, a king gets people to follow him. A queen does as well. But this is the divine, ultimate divine feminine, ultimate divine masculine, excuse me. A king rules. 
and not do, are not only are you in a knowingness state of what information and who you are and what your truth is, but now you're in a knowingness state of your direction. And that brings us to the culmination of the magician. Uh, this is a strong month for manifestation for you. This is a strong month for you to write the vision, make it plain. This is a strong month for you to just to say, I hear you, creator. I hear you, spirit. And I am going to co-create with you. This is a strong month for you to take your energy here and emote from your heart and bring it in. Create with creator. Very strong energy to do that. Because the foundational pieces that you bring in and you create, you're literally creating your future right before your very eyes. You're going to see little bits and pieces here and there as you go along. But by the end of this month, you're going to have a very clear, concise plan, a very clear direction to go in, and you will begin to see the manifestation, the realization of life purpose and you begin to see the path for ascension, the next level. Abundance, provision, protection, and direction are all coming your way. Thank you so very much, Aries. We're going to wrap this up. Keep it short. Again, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. You're going to have uh, the opportunity to check out some of the other videos that are on this channel. And I so appreciate you giving me the opportunity to serve you. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Peace.